Hello there, everybody. How you doing? And before I get started on this q and I want to say something. Well, more like a few things, I guess. If, if, you just, if you just want to skip to the Q&A part of this, go ahead and head to the time shown below. First off, um, 500 subs. <laughs> oh, good fucking lord. I'm honestly overwhelmed that many people think that some dork like me is worth watching, and I can only say thank you to everyone. It's probably all I can say. You guys make doing this a joy, and I can't thank you guys enough. So, I just thank you. Second, you might have noticed the new channel art and my new avatar. Well, my channel banner was created by the super talented and personal friend of mine, Phidias. I highly recommend you guys go check her out. Her stuff is really good. Next, you might have noticed the new avatar. Well, this one was done by the equally as talented Shiro Debbie. I freaking love what she did with this new image of mine, and I hope you guys like it too. Links are in the description if you guys want to check out either of these super talented artists. Go check them out. Artists, as I think I've said before, are underappreciated, and they deserve more recognition for their amazing talents. So it would mean a lot to me if you guys gave them a chance and checked them out. Thanks. Now then, time for the Q&A. I was having a hard time trying to think of a good subspecial, but I felt a new look for the channel would be a good start, so tell me what you guys think of the new avatar and such. But okay, I'm done rambling, let's just get started. I was gonna stay, yeah, start the Q&A, but then I immediately just decided, eh, let's go have another little segue here. Anyway, actual beginning of the Q&A. Our first question comes from Frederica Burnkostel. Excellent start. What was your best and worst event in your life? Alrighty, a question I have no problem divulging in. I'm gonna try to be more open with certain questions, so let's start. Actually, now that I think about it, I can probably answer both of these questions with a story time. Okay, so get this. I like to draw, right? And I wanted to try to be maybe an animator. You know, be able to animate things and maybe make my own show. So I drew a lot. So, my target to go to was probably the Art Institute where I live. During my college visit there, we learned, holy shit, this place is perfect. They even had a fantastic system that catered to my, um, mental issues. So you could say the greatest event of my life was when I was, you know, suddenly accepted to the college so quickly. I was ecstatic. I already got myself a college dorm. Awesome roommates seemed like, well, really freaking cool people. I was set. I was happy I even had a possible job at the side I could have done while I was at college. Let's get to the worst event. Now, because of my condition, which is Asperger's, seriously, who the fuck named that? I had some financial aid, you know, to kind of help for, you know, school expenses. Now, there was no way my family could afford the tuition, but my financial aid had told us several times, mind you, that they would cover it, so we weren't worrying. Now, two days before I got to move into my dorm, we get a call from them. My financial aid decided that that was the opportune time to say, eh, they changed their mind. They went back on what they had said and changed it up saying, now they will only pay tuition that is of a discount college. And by that mean, I mean an actual college that was basic, that didn't have a lot of the stuff that the one I wanted to had. Now, as a bonus, the same financial aid, though it was a different branch, but you know, same company and all that, they had paid the other students at the Art Institute's tuitions in full. They paid for everything, but me? Nah, I'm gonna change our mind on that. Yeah, screw that guy. So, having a dream so close, only for it to be ripped out of your hand? Well, let's just say that was the worst event in my life. I barely remember leaving my room for a month or so, so it was bad. However, I don't care anymore. I still hate that company and I was overjoyed to hear the branch that supported me went out of business, so I'm over it. But it doesn't erase the good and bad feelings I was feeling, so I classify that as my best and worst event that I think I've experienced. Now then, on to the next question. Next up we have Okanogi Tetsudo. Well, another familiar name. Good question. Who's your favorite Umineko character right now? Belphegor's best steak. Yes, definitely. And let's see. From Battler, we have hmm, quite a slew here. I'll answer them as we go along just to save some time here. First one. What's a body part you wouldn't mind losing? Probably one of my legs. I think I could still get by with one less leg. Although I could bullshit my answer by saying I'll be able to live with one less ear. Next. If you could know the absolute and total truth to one question, what question would you ask? Hmm. 
Well, I'd probably ask something pretty selfish like, what does my future look like? Or, you know, something philosophical, which is probably what I would do. Like, what is the answer to life, the universe, and all of creation? And I swear to God, if you say 42, I will end you. Okay, don't. Don't take that seriously. I'm not gonna. I, I'm, I'm just. A, I'm just a pre-recorded audio. Third, if you were arrested with no explanation, what would your friends and family assume you had done? No cop-out answers like they would think it was a mistake. They would legit think you committed a crime, and you have to guess which crime they think you committed. No cop-outs? Shit! You found out my strategy. Damn it. Okay. Hmm. Uh, they would think more than likely I killed someone that had wronged the family, like. I don't know, killing a leech. I'm very level-headed and I would never think of doing such a thing. However, since we are talking of hypotheticals, I would probably be arrested for murdering someone who is extorting money from my family and taking advantage of the kindness of their hearts and the law enforcement won't do anything about it. So in the situation, I would have probably took it into my own hands and done so myself. Carrying out my own justice, however, I would be caught because, well, I'm an idiot. Hope that answer, hope that satisfies your little curiosity about that. On to the next question. This is from... Ekno? Sorry if I mispronounced that. Would you rather get every PlayStation for free once it comes out, or every time a computer with a better graphics and card and video, etc. comes out, you're the first one to get it, and also for free? For both options, every, every time the new thing appears, the new thing will be replaced with the old. I'd honestly prefer getting the free computer every time a new, better model comes out. As much as I love consoles, I'm slowly realizing how vast the PC gaming collection is. Next up is Megamoo asking, Do you love me? Megamoo, my little trap. Let's make friendship together. Are traps gay? I think it all depends on the situation, actually. Even which trap we're talking about and their sexual orientation. And what they sexually identify as. I'm a very accepting person and I don't really care about if they're gay or not. It all depends how... It all depends, well, how I see it. It depends on a few things. One, what they identify as. Two, if they are a trap or slash reverse trap. Or three, you know, their sexual orientation. Do you have siblings? Yeah, I am the second oldest out of five siblings. Four step siblings and one blood sibling. Have you ever been to a convention of sorts? Yeah, actually, I've been to a convention at least once every year. This year I'll be heading to Comic-Con down where I live. Every year, me and my dad find a place to go out, and we head there as a sort of a father-son outing. It's honestly one of the best things I look forward to every year. Alrighty, next up we have Silver Cover with... What is your favorite pairing in media? By that I mean like anime, cartoons, TV shows, movies, games, etc. Ah, you are learning how I mess with questions. Good job being very specific. Alright, favorite pairing in media? Hmm, let's see. I do like the pairing of Adele and Rosalind from Disgaea 2, which funnily enough reminds me of another pairing I like, which is Battler and Beatrice. I'm starting to notice some similarities here. Next up, we have is from Modrice. If you had the ability to stop time for as long as you want to, what would you do with said ability? I would honestly just mess with people. <laughs> but that I mean, just you like innocent pranks, like, you know, stopping time is basically if someone's about to pour milk into their cereal. I'll, uh, I'll just basically take their jug, switch it with the jug of orange juice just to make them question their reality when I restart time. Alright, next up we have Fruto Erika with another question. What kind of superpower would you like to have? Hmm. I'd like to have the power to give physical form to imagination. Now, let's say there's a kid, whether they're lonely or not, who has an imaginary friend. I could brighten that child's day by making it to where their imaginary friends are real and they'd be able to have fun and be happy. Or another idea is creating things capable of helping people with stressful issues and even maybe, you know, help people who need, well, people who need help. I would be able to create something for them that helps them sort out their problems or, or even makes their lives easier as a result. All right. Now we have Ardith with two questions, and one I failed to answer last time, and this time I promised I would answer. I thought of a general question. Why Sobata92 as your username? The name Sobata was, well, made from a character I had drawn a long time ago, and I still draw him to this day. The actual name Sobata? Yeah, I don't know how I came up with it. This is well over 10, 12 years ago. I came up with this concept as a character where I put every trait I wish I had into him, and he, he was kind of like, like a a therapy of sorts. Sticking with the name I decided, uh, I'll, I'll make it my YouTube username. As for the 92, year I was born. Now fun guessing which century I was in. 
The second question is, which character do you think had the greatest change from you hating to loving, or the opposite? Hmm. Probably Shion from Higurashi. I admit, I didn't like her in the beginning. In fact, she just be became fucking annoying to me. However, learning, you know, after learning about all the shit that she had went through and the poor choices she made, I really can't bring myself to hate her. I ended up even liking her character because she felt really human. Especially in terms of her making mistakes, because in nature, humans make mistakes. All those hers were pretty extreme, but I can't bring myself to hate her. And finally, we have one more from Frederica Bernkostel. If you had a wish that can only harm someone, how would you use it? Hmm. Well, I would use it on those who are harming my family. I would use this wish on them. I would force them to do something that forces them into jail with no chances of ever getting out so that they can rot in their cells for the rest of their foolish lives. Uh, <laughs> sorry if I got too dark there. Um, anyway, that's pretty much all the questions I've got. Oh, uh, one more thing. One little final thingy. I decided to, you know, go ahead and open up a Patreon. It's still a work in progress, and it's only there if you want to donate. Even a single dollar is more than enough to help the channel grow, honestly. I'm not sure what a good goal would be, so I'd gladly take suggestions. Oh god, this is a terrible Patreon announcement. Oh, one more thing! I think it's time for a face reveal. So, here's what I 